Hi guys, Codecrafter here. Today, I have asked a bunch of my friends to give me their Wings of Fire OCs, and I have put them into a Wings of Fire Hunger Games simulator. Enjoy! Okay, here we go. We have Cleopatra, Frightful, Blue Jay, Kelpie, Bighorn, Avocado, Frost, Kumori, Wombat, Tiger, Aqua, Mesa, Jackal, Spork, Dracus, Leopard, Gay, Sparrow, Moonshadow, Sea Star, those are mine, Dude, Frog, Shoreline, and Abyss. Let's go. Alright, as the tribute stands on the podium, the horn sounds. Frog runs away from the cornucopia. Dracus strangles Leopard after engaging in a fist fight. Blue Jay runs away from the cornucopia. Frost runs away from the cornucopia. Kelpie runs away from the cornucopia. Bighorn, Abyss, and Aqua also run away from the cornucopia. Sparrow sets off an explosive, killing Avocado and Cleopatra. <laughs> We've lost two people already. Gay runs away from the cornucopia. <laughs> I'm never going to get used to that name. Mesa runs away from the cornucopia. Sea Star grabs a shovel. Let's go! Shoreline runs away from the cornucopia. Jackal and... Jack runs away from the cornucopia. Dude drips a mace out of Tiger's hands. Moonshadow gathers as much food as he can. Let's go. <laughs> My OC is smart. Kumori runs away from the cornucopia. Spork runs away from the cornucopia. Frightful runs away from the cornucopia. And Wombat runs away from the cornucopia. Day one. Frost and Kumori fight Tiger Dr and Dracus. Frost and Kumori survive. Wait, does that mean... I think we, I, I think we lost... Tiger and Dracus there. Bighorn steals from Frog while she isn't looking. Abyss and Shoreline work together to drown Sparrow. Moonshadow tries to sleep for the entire day. Jackal, Frightful, Wombat, and Dude raid Blue Jay's camp while she is hunting. Gay, Aqua, Sea Star, and Spork raid Mace's camp while she is hunting. Kelpie bleeds out due to un <laughs> untreated injuries. When did she get injured? Or Seven shots can be heard in the distance. Ah, uh, we lost Leopard, Avocado, Cleopatra, Tiger, Dracus, Sparrow, and Kelpie. Okay, you ready for round two? Let's see. Proceed. Kumori sets up camp for the night. Shoreline thinks about winning. Frost attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Okay, that's, that's what you'd expect from an ice ring, I guess. Abyss screams for help. That's probably not smart. Wombat receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Jackal, Moonshadow, Aqua, and Frightful, and Dude sleep in shifts. That's a lot of people. Blue Jay tries to treat her infection. Sea Star cries herself to sleep. Aww. Bighorn receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. We better watch out. We have a. We have a sandwich with an explosive. Frog cooks her food before putting her fire out. Okay, that's wrong at so many levels. That's that's a rain that's a, that's a, that's a rain wing. They don't have fire and they don't eat eat. All right, gay is woke my nightmares. Spork poisons Mesa's drink, but mistakes it for her own and dies. Ooh, that isn't good. Dragon with a bomb. I'm reading the chat here. Okay. Um, let's see. What does the chat said? <laughs> Shoreline's being narcissistic. Frost stabs Bighorn in the back with a trident. Moonshadow receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Ooh, now my dragon has an explosive. Mesa travels to higher ground. Caesar discovers a river. That's appropriate. Blue Jay camouflages herself in the bushes. Aqua receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Also appropriate. Frog attacks Frightful, but she manages to escape. Let's go, Frightful! Also, who knew Rainwings were so vicious? Dude receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Wombat picks flowers. Aw, cute. Kumori begs for Abyss to kill him. <laughs> she refuses, keeping Kumori alive. Gay sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Smart. Shoreline diverts Jackal's attention and runs away. We have lost Spork and Bighorn. Oh no. Let me read the chat real quick. Okay. <laughs> they, want the, they want the bomb dragons to fight. 
<laughs> okay, proceed. Wombat is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. I don't know what to say about that. Kumori and Sea Star huddle for warmth. Dude destroys Moon Shadow's supplies while she is asleep. Oh no! Oh no! All that food that he stashed up in the beginning, it's all gone. Oh. <laughs> Blue Jade has to start a fire but is unsuccessful. Am Abyss ambushes Frog and kills her. That it didn't, 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 didn't they just, didn't Abyss just like beg Frog to kill her? Oh no, we lost Frog. <laughs> Everyone's sad about that. No. <laughs> okay. Jackal sets up camp for the night. Aqua tries to sling herself to sleep. Frightful passes out from exhaustion. Shoreline thinks about home. Gay, Frost, and Mesa get into a fight. Frog triumphantly, Frost triumphantly kills them both. <laughs> Frost is a murderer. <laughs> Wombat attacks Abyss, but she manages to escape. Jackal steals from Dude while she isn't looking. Frightful receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Retro. How would a dragon use a hatchet? Frost, Shoreline, Moonshadow, and Kamori hunt for other tributes. Oh look, he's making friends. Blue Jay makes a wooden spear. Sea Star receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. My dragons are doing well. Oh, axe dragon. <laughs> Aqua searches for a water source. Again, appropriate. Ah, we lost Frog Day in Nesa. R.I.P. Frog. Everyone's favorite. Abyss and Jackal threaten a double suicide. It fails and they die? It fails and they die? That's... Uh... Interesting. Okay. Aqua cooks your food before putting her fire out. I don't know if that makes sense for receiving, but okay. Seastar and Wombat talk about tribute still alive. Seastar's gotta kill someone. Kamori sets Frost on fire with a... <laughs> that this is like this is like escaping peril all over again. That, that ice wings on fire. Oh, oh! Shoreline defeats Moonshatter in a fight, but spares his life. Oh, that was close. That was close. That was close. <laughs> that was so close. Blue Jay starts a fire. Dude climbs a tree to rest. Frightful also climbs a tree to rest. The cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, and weapons, and the, and memoirs from the tribute's family. Frightful decides not to go to the feast. That is a smart dragon. Kumori, Wombat, and Blue Jay get in a fight. Kumori triumphantly kills them both. POV, you can't get warm when you die. Shoreline is unable to convince Aqua not to kill her. So did we lose Aqua? Moonshadow sets Sea Star on fire. No, why are my dragons fighting? They're family. <laughs> the brother just set the sister on fire. <laughs> the brother set the sister on fire. No, Moonshadow, why? Dude decides not to go to the feast. Another smart dude. Aqua, dude, frightful, and Moonshadow track down and kill Kumori. I mean, she's killed. She's killed like a thousand people. Okay, so. I feel like that's uh, eight. We lost Abyss, Jackal, Frost, Wombat, Blue Jay, Shoreline, Sea Star, no, and Kumori. Kumori has probably like the most kills in this game, so I don't not too sad about Kumori, but you know, dude lets Aqua into her shelter. Oh, that's nice. Frightful treats her infection. Uh oh. Moonshadow goes to sleep. Perfect. Frightful overhears Moonshadow and Aqua talking in the distance. Dude camouflages herself in the bushes. Smart. <laughs> no cannon shots. Perfect. We went through a day without anyone dying. Dude falls into a frozen lake and drowns. Oh no! Um, Frightful is awoken by nightmares. Aqua goes to sleep. Moonshadow falls into a pit and dies. No! Moonshadow! <laughs> Both my dragons are dead. Frightful begs Aqua to kill her. She over. Oh no! Frightful! Uh, we lost Dude, Moonshadow, and Frightful. Uh, all of my OCs are gone. They're all gone. Not Frightful. Uh, the winner is Aqua! We have a winner! Congratulations, Aqua. Um, 
kill Aqua. No, we can't kill Aqua. Aqua's the winner. Um, do I do a second one? Do I do a second one? What does chat say? Do we do a second one? We are doing a rematch. <laughs> Hang on, who, who who's who's to see with Aqua before we go on? Oh yeah, Cleo lost the first round. That was sad. Let's see, who's I see was Aqua. Does anybody know? Nobody knows. Okay. Moving on. Let's see. Let's see it. Who got the most kills? Ooh, okay, Aqua actually got the most kills. Um, no, 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 Kumori, yeah, like I said, Kim Kumori got five kills. Kumori got five kills. That's what I said, she just went on a murder stream. Uh, yep, there's the summary. All right, let's, let's do it. Same, same my C's. Boom. Actually, wait, uh, yeah, okay, we're good. As the tribute stand on the podium, the horn sounds. Dude runs away from the cornucopia. Smart. Mesa breaks Moon Shadow's nose for a basket of bread. No. Oh, okay. That was kittens. Okay, oh, see. So, congratulations, kitten, for winning. Wombat runs away from the cornucopia. Sea Star clutches the first aid kit and runs away. Smart. Avocado also clutches the first kit and runs away. Spork runs away from the cornucopia. Leopard runs away from the cornucopia. Bighorn takes a sickle from inside the cornucopia. Uh oh. Blue J Frost and Blue Jay fight Gay and Sparrow. Gay and Sparrow survive. Oh, we lost two already. Tiger runs away from the cornucopia. Jackal, Dracus, and Kelpie and Shoreline also, also run away from the cornucopia. Abyss runs away with a lighter and some rope. Right, row. Someone's planning some arson. Kumori finds a backpack full of camping equipment, and so does Cleopatra. Perfect. She did not die. Frog runs into the corp runs into the cornucopia and hides. Frightful grabs a jar of fishing bait while Aqua gets fishing gear. Does that mean they're teaming up? <laughs> Spork discovers a river. Avocado, Cleopatra, Gay, Dude, and Kelpie hunt for other tributes. Sparrow questions for sanity. That sounds appropriate. Bighorn receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Aqua convinces Shoreline not to kill her, only to kill her instead. Ooh. Frog diverts Tiger's attention and runs away. Frog is smart. Sea Star receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Appropriate. Leopard receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. I don't think... Sandwings need that much water, but good for good for her. Kumori collects fruit from a tree. Jacko receives fresh fruit from an unknown sponsor. Abyss overhears Moonshadow and Dracus talking in the distance. Wombat receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Mesa tries to sleep through the entire day. And Frightful receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Ooh, we have our first arson dragon, guys. Oh, Axe Dragon again. <laughs> Arson Dragon. We lost Frost, Blue, Blue, Blue Jane, Shoreline. Mesa, Sea Star, Gay, Tiger, and Spork sleep in shifts. Abyss defeats Leopard in a fight. Alright, but spares her life. Leopard's fine. Dick Frost dies a lot. Jackal and Aqua huddle for warmth. Uh huh. Dew tends to Sparrow's room. Wounds. That's sweet. Kimori passes out from exhaustion. Oh no. Frog loses sight of where she is. We Frog is lost. Kelpie destroys Dracus' supplies while he is asleep. Cleopatra climbs a tree to rest. Moonshadow is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. Uh, oh dear. Wombat thinks about winning. Quite the prideful dragon. Frightful sinks herself to sleep. Oh no. Avocado receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. It's Axe Dragon again. The return of Axe Dragon. Bighorn cooks his food before putting his fire out. Kelpie camouflages himself in the bushes. Wombat overhears Tiger and Kimori talking in the distance. Spork receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Ooh, we have our second arson dragon. Bighorn hunts for the tributes. Moonshadow, Sparrow, Cleopatra, and Avocado raid Abyss's camp while she is hunting. Oh no! 
frightful attacks a dude, but she manages to escape. Jackal diverts Mace's attention and runs away. Smart. Gay attacks Leopard, but he manages to escape. Ooh, vicious. Aqua sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Dracus goes hunting. Sea Star runs away from Frog. Ah, Frog is, Frog is hunting. All right, everyone's still alive. Leopard tends to do his wounds. That's nice. Dracus and Moon Shadows tell stories about themselves to each other. Ooh. Tiger starts a fire. Aqua receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Avocado and Sphero run into each other and decide to truth for the night. That's reasonable, actually. Spork has it up from exhaustion. Oh no. Mesa tries to treat her infection. Gay, Frightfuls, Frog, Seastar, and Jackal sleep in shifts. Kelpie dies from hypothermia. No. Wombat and Kimori talk about the tribute still alive. Bighorn and Cleopatra tell stories about themselves to each other, and Abyss screams for help. Day 3. Cleopatra searches for firewood, Sea Star hunts for the tributes, Aqua severely injures Abyss and leaves her to die, oh no. Avocado receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor, Kumori sees smoke rising in the distance but decides not to investigate, Mesa injures herself, uh oh. Dracus defeats Jackal in a fight but spares his life, thank goodness. Gay tends to Moonshadow's wounds. Aw, that's sweet. Frog discovers a cave. Leopard discovers a cave. Spork discovers a river. And Sparrow discovers another cave. Wow. We are, there are a lot of caves in this place. Dude attacks Tiger, but she manages to escape. Bighorn is pricked by thorns while pushing, picking berries. Oh no. Frightful searches for a water source. Wombat receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. We have three arson dragons, guys. Three. Someone's gonna go off with a bang eventually. Ah, oh, we lost Kelpie and Aves. I'm glad the same dragons haven't died. Like the, the, the in the like, we have the different dragons who are surviving. Arson dragons. Woo. A dew tends to her wounds, Kimori looks at the sky, Avocado defeats Frightful in a fight but spares her life, no one's dying. Mesa begs Wombu Wombat to kill her, he refuses, keeping Mesa alive. Tiger and Jacko run into each other and decide to choose for the night. Sparrow attempts to start a fire but is unsuccessful. Spork tries to, tries to sting herself to sleep, sad. Frog and Cleopatra. Frog kills Cleopatra as he tries to run. Oh, Frog, is, Frog has killed someone. Cleopatra stays all awake all night. Sea Star severely injur injures Dracus, but puts him out of his misery. Uh oh, we lost Dracus. And Sea Star, sea star wow. Moon Shadow receives fresh food from unknown sponsor. Yes! Last time he had his food taken from him, he will he will eat this time. Gay yeah, receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. That's four arson dragons. Four. Big horn questions his sanity. <laughs> Frog is very proud of her, very proud of her OC over here. Kumori thinks about home. Sparrow is pricked by thorns bleh, while picking berries. Mesa sprains her ankle while running away from Frog. Frog is after people. Uh, Frog is Frog is making a comeback. Frog is mad because they were killed so quickly last round. They're just going on an absolute murder spree over here. Moon Shadow and Frightful hunt for other tributes. <laughs> Spork begs Gay to kill her, but he refuses, keeping Spork alive. Avocado is pricked by thorns while picking berries. The people have got to stop picking berries. Tiger practices her archery. Jacko receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Sea Star receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Aqua receives clean water from an unknown sponsor that I approve of. Leopard and Dude hunt for their tributes. Bighorn kills Wombat with a hatchet. Hatchet dragon. The hatchet dragon has returned. And Wombat has died. We lost Cleopatra, Dracus, and Wombat. Axe <laughs> Dragon, yo. Moon Shadow loses sight of where he is. Oh, uh -oh. Gay Jackal and Aqua cheerfully sing songs together. Sea Star loses sight of where he is. People are getting lost. We need a map. Sparrow attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Avocado and Tiger sleep in shifts. Dude passes out from exhaustion. Kumori thinks about home. Leopard convinces Frightful to snuggle with him. <laughs> oh, oh my. Spork looks at the sky. 
Decorn receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. <laughs> Ma- Frog tends to Mesa's wounds. Frog. <laughs> Frog should have killed Mesa. Frightful of the lesbian murderer. <laughs> oh dear. Spork collects fruit from a tree. Sparrow, Kumori, Gay, and Jackal hunt for their tributes. Mesa travels to higher ground. Dude discovers a river. Frightful, frightful pat- practices her archery. We have archer dragons now. Sea Star and Leopard work together to drown Aqua. They just drowned it. I'm not, I'm not going to think about that one. I'm not going to think about that one. They, they drowned a sea wing. <laughs> Poor kitten. Oh, she, she won last game, okay? So, that's perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah, they drowned a sea wing. No clue how that happened, but... Oh, it's a silk wing. Never mind, you can totally drown a silk wing. Tiger practices her archery. Moonshadow defeats Bighorn in a fight, but spares his life. Ah, the, he, he spared Axe Dragon. Avocado hunts for the tributes, and Frog receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Wow, Frog is doing well this game. At least Frog, at least Aqua's with her boyfriend now. Uh, kitten lost both her OCs. Spork collects fruit from a tree. Sparrow, Komori, Gay, and Jackal hunt for the tributes. Mesa travels to higher ground. Dude discovers a river. Frightful practices her archery. More archer dragons. How did this happen? How do they hold both? Sea Star. Oh wait, I'm. I just reread the same thing. I'm. I'm stupid. I'm. I'm just stupid. Okay, one cannon shot can be heard in the distance. Aqua has died. Sorry, kitten, for losing both your OCs. Sparrow cooks her food before putting her fire out. Mesa tries to think herself to sleep. Dude tries to treat her infection. Jack holds the sight of where he is. Sea Star is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. That's what you'd expect from a sea wing. Spork sees the fire but stays hidden. That's a smart spork right there. Kimori receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Leopard and Frog run into each other but decide to truce for the night. Frog is. Frog has apparently stopped being vicious. Avocado stays awake all night. Tiger be- begs Gay to kill him, kill her. He- she refuses, keeping Tiger alive. Moonshadow thinks about winning. Frightful and Bighorn talk about the tributes still alive. Sparrow travels to higher ground. Moonshadow and Bighorn split up to search for resources. Hmm? See, there's an alliance forming. Dude receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. We have our second hatchet dragon. Dude, Spork runs away from Mesa. Spork is vicious. Frightful attacks Sea Star, but she manages to escape. Thank goodness. Gay begs Jackal to kill him. He refuses, keeping Gay alive. These people go back and forth. Leopard practices archery again. Avocado chases Tiger. That's interesting. Kimori discovers a cave, and Frog travels to higher ground. Smart for a Rainwing. We have not lost anyone. Kimori defeats Avocado in a fight, but spares her life. Tiger and Leopard hold hands. Aw, that's, I mean, their paws, but cute, nevertheless. Dude is unable to, er, Jackal is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. Dude kills Gay with the hatchet, see? The return of the hatchet dragon. Uh, frog kill, not make me have pets. <laughs> Oh, we have we have a picture. We have a picture of an archer dragon. Cute axe dragon finally kills. Yes. Sparrow and Sea Star tell stories about themselves to each other. Spork passes out from exhaustion after hatcheting someone. Bighorn convinces Frog to struggle with him. <laughs> frog, yeah, Frog is making friends over here. Mesa bashes Frightful's head against a rock several times. Oh no. Moonshadow tries to sing herself to sleep. Or himself. Sorry, I must have put that in wrong. Sea Star tries to spear fish with a trident. That is appropriate. She is a sea wing. Tiger practices archery. We have another archer dragon. Spork receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Arson dragon, guys. Arson dragon. Moon Shadow constructs a shack. Oh wow. Frog unknowingly eats toxic berries. No, no, we lost Frog again. 
Mesa falls into a frozen lake and drowns. Oh no. The sand wing. The sand wing does not know what water or ice is apparently. Jack Rose seems clean water from an unknown sponsor. Ironic considering what just happened to his fellow sand wing, but okay. Big horn searches for a water source. People have gotta stay away from water. F and chat for frog. <laughs> yes indeed. Leopard accidentally steps on a landmine. Oh no! Arson! We have finally we finally had the arson that we've been waiting for. It and Leopard has blown up. R.I.P. Leopard, but finally. Finally the arson dragon has done its work. <laughs> Kumori strengths his ankle while running away from Sparrow. Oh no. We lost Yay, Frightful, Mesa, Leopard, and Frog once again. Poor Frog. Poor Frog. Um, Kumori sets off an explosive, killing Bighorn and Moonshadow. No, no, not Moonshadow. Also, why are all the explosives... Oh, <laughs> oh sorry. Okay. Kumori is female. My bad. Um... Yeah, Moonshadow has died. Also, Bighorn has. B Moonshadow and Bighorn. They, they're Hatchet Dragon. We have lost the Hatchet Dragon, but also Arson Dragon. Arson Dragon killed Hatchet Dragon. Jackal throws a knife into Spork's head. Oh no, Spork! Caesar and Avocado hold hands. That is not how dragons work, but okay, that's sweet. Tiger and Dude run into each other and decide to truce for the night. That's reasonable. Sparrow climbs the tree to rest. The cornucopia is re replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the tribute's family. Sparrow and Avocado get into a fight over raw meat, but Sparrow gives up and runs away. Okay, Dude decides not to go to the feast, and neither does Komori or Jackal. Tigers take, takes, a, takes a staff leaning against the cornucopia. Ooh, we have Stick Dragon. <laughs> Stick Dragon now. Caesar accidentally steps on a landmine. No, my dragons! My dragons! <laughs> They're all gone! <laughs> Once again. No one's going to the feast, yes. But the, no one is going to the feast. Dude severely slices Kimori with a sword. Oh no! Is Kimori, is Kimori alive? Tiger sees smoke riding, rising in the distance but decides not to investigate. Avocado makes a slingshot. Sparrow is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Why do people keep picking berries? Jackal constructs a shack. Ah, uh, we lost Bighorn, Moonshadow, Spork, and Seasar, and Kimori. We lost both my dragons in the same day. Oh no. Kimori's already dead. Kimori's already dead. She just... <laughs> F. <laughs> Tiger tra Tiger's trap kills dude. Oh no, we lost dude. Jack receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. That is the fifth hatchet dragon. Avocado destroys Sparrow's supplies while she is asleep. Jacko fishes. Tiger searches for firewood. Avocado dies from sore thirst. No. We lost Avocado. And Sparrow searches for firewood. We lost Avocado and dude, guys. Sparrow convinces Jackal to snuggle with her. Aw, cute. Tiger attempts to fall, tr climb a tree but falls to her death. Oh no, we lost Tiger. Sparrow's trap kills Jackal. They were just snuggling. We lost Tiger and Jackal. The winner is Sparrow. Congratulations. Um, who's, who's OC is Sparrow? Who's, who, who does Sparrow belong to? Um, hello? Okay, chat does not want to respond to me now. Frog got top two, um... Who has the most kills? Um, I think, like, half, half of these people are tied for... No, 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 Sparrow, Sparrow got the most kills. Um, and where's Frog? Frog only got one kill? Frog is being vicious. One of my dragons, Moonshadow has never killed someone, which I guess is sort of appropriate, considering Seastar killed two people. Nice. 
Oh, okay. That's T is OC. And they are not here because it is 3 a.m. for them, so. <laughs> My video's a success. And, yep, that's, that's what happened. Um, let's see. That was that was chaotic. That was very chaotic. That was pure chaos. Um, let me fix that one and that one. Okay. Um, do you want to do one more before turning this off? Frog the arsonist. Okay. Last one. Last one. Aqua oh, sees a trident from inside the cornucopia. Ooh, we have a trident dragon now. That's new. Big fork dragon. We have a big fork dragon. Sparrow runs away from the cornucopia with Shoreline, Tiger, Cleopatra, Gay, and Dracus share everything they gathered before running. Oh, look, we have our first alliance. Frightful runs away from the cornucopia. Sea Star takes a sickle. Look at that. <laughs> Big fork. <laughs> Kittens. OC finally has something important. Blue Jay strangles Avocado in a fist fight. Oh, whoa. That was quick. Wombat, R R Wombat Leopard, and Frost run away from the cornucopia. Kimori sets off an explosive, killing Abyss and Frog. No, we lost Frog again. <laughs> How do we keep losing Frog? Poor Frog. Mesa runs away from the cornucopia with Dude and Kelpie. Jackal clutches the first aid kit and runs away. Moonshadow runs away from the cornucopia. Big fo Big Horn kills Spork for her supplies. Oh no. Gay scares off Blue Jay. F and chat for Frog. Yes, we keep losing Frog. Moon Shadow goes hunting. Leopard, Drake is in Big Gorn. Track down and kill Sea Star. No! She has started. Frog. Frost begs for Dude to kill him. She refuses, keeping Frost alive. Kelpie kills Kimori with the sickle. Oh no! Well, Kelpie probably got that from Sea Star, who died. Sparrow receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Wombat makes a wooden spear. Shoreline and Mesa hunt for other tributes. Frost Y. Shoreline, Mesa, yeah, right, Frightful chases Aqua. Cleopatra constructs a shack. And Jackal shoots a poisonous blow dart into Tiger's neck, slowly killing her. Oh no. Oh wow, we lost so many. Avocado, Abyss, Frog, Spork, Sea Star, Kumori, and Tiger in the first round. <laughs> shack Dragon. Yes, we have Shack Dragon now. That's the thing. Leopard stays all night. Gay receives a hatchet from unknown. Gay and Mesa receive hatchets from unknown sponsors. We have two axe dragons already, guys. We have a gay ha axe dragon. <laughs> Frost starts the fire. Shoreline thinks about winning. Frightful and Wombat huddle for warmth. Blue Jay, Cleopatra, Bighorn, Aqua, and Kelpie sleep in shifts. Dracus is unable to start a fire and sleep without warmth. Dude and Shackle sleep in shifts, and Sparrow tends to Moonshadow's wounds. How sweet. Frost receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Gay discovers a cave. Aqua injures herself. Bighorn questions his sanity. <laughs> he has lost his axe. He's nothing without his axe. Dracus kills Dude. Oh, oh wow. Dr Dracus' is trap kills Dude. Wow, we have had our first trap. Kelpie, Sparrow, Shoreline, and Wombat raid Leopard's cave while he is hunting. Oh no. Jackal makes a slingshot. Cleopatra constructs a shack. We have two shack dragons, guys. Mesa, Blue Jay, and Moonshadow hunt for the tributes, and Frightful makes a wooden spear. We lost dude, guys. We lost dude. Oh no, Cleo has two shacks now. Okay. <laughs> Only one Shack Dragon. Never mind. Frightful starts a fire. Dracul, Dracus, Moonshadow, and Cleopatra sh sleep in shifts. Frog, Kelpie, and Sparrow also sleep in shifts. Gay and Blue Jay tend to their wounds, and Aqua tries to treat an infection. Wombat refuses to for an unknown sponsor. Let's go, guys. Arson Dragon already.
We have our first horse and dragon. Nessa passes out from exhaustion. Shoreline thinks about home. <laughs> oh no. Big horse has a camp for the night and leopard thinks about winning. Sparrow collects fruit from a tree. Dracus dies trying to escape the arena. No. Kelpie runs away from leopard. Bighorn, Blue Jay, and Frost unsuccessfully ambush Moon, Shadow, Wombat, and Aqua. Who kills them instead? Let's go, Moon Shadow. First kill. Uh, I don't know. If, I don't know if that counts as a kill or not, but we'll, we'll say it does. Jackal overhears frightful and Cleopatra talking in the distance. Mesa discovers a river. I don't know why a sandman would get a river, but okay. Shoreline thinks about home, and Gay tries to sleep through the entire day. <laughs> Wombat, the arsonist. Yes. Aqua, no. Aqua, Aqua, you killed your boyfriend. <laughs> oh, oh no. The arena turns pitch black and no one can see a thing. No! The Spiro flails her up and around, accidentally killing Moon Shadow. No, Moon Shadow, why? Why did you, why? You, you were helping each other just early. Oh no. Cleopatra trips on a rock and falls off the cliff. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kai. <laughs> I'm sorry. Gay survives. Perfect. Shoreline flails her up and around, accidentally killing Mesa. Not Mesa. Again. Frightful finds and kills Jackal, who was making too much noise. <laughs> Jackal was being stupid. And it got him killed. Wombat trips, trips on a rock and falls off a cliff. Oh no. We lost our arson dragon. Kelpie and Aqua survive. We have lost the arson dragon now. Oh wow, we've lost a lot more than the arson dragon. We have lost Dracus, Bighorn, Blue Jay, Frost, Moonshadow, R.I.P. Cleopatra, Mesa, Jackal, and Wombat. Oh no. Oh wow. Aqua, Kelpie, and Frightful sleep in shifts. Gay sets off an explosive, killing Shoreline, Sparrow, and Leopard. We have an arson dragon, guys. We have an arson dragon. Frost keeps dying. Yes. The cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and more memoirs from the tribute's families. Frightful decides not to go to the feast. Smart. Gay travel gathers as much food as he into a bag before retreating. Also smart. Aqua decides not to go from the feast, and Kelpie dies from an infection. No! Frightful injures herself. Aqua searches for a water source. That is a, That makes sense. Gay tries to sleep the entire day. Why does he keep doing that? We lost Shoreline, Sparrow, Leopard, and Kelpie, though I'm not too sad about Sparrow because he killed Moonshadow. Aqua being smart, yes. Aqua convinces Frightful to snuggle with her. Aw, cute. Gay attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. I don't know why a rain would need fire, but okay. Or even how they would get fire. R.I.P. Kelpie again. Yes. Gay, Frightful, and Aqua get into a fight. Gay triumphantly kills them both. We lost Frightful and Aqua. And the winner is gay. <laughs> Good go. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe. That would be very nice. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!